very good morning, Ntate Mulefe. Just, just your reaction when you heard the news about George Bezos passing. Uh, I was shocked and uh, left mortified. I, I, I have been battling with COVID-19 for the last five weeks. And during that period, I said to my wife, one of the first things I want to do when I recover from this COVID-19 is to visit uh, George Bezos. Um, unfortunately, now he's gone. Uh, I'm unable to do so. Uh, it is said we have uh, lost a great South African, um, a hero of our struggle, in particular uh, of human rights uh, struggle. Um, he, as you have correctly pointed out earlier on, he represented many, many activists, many families, which were fighting the, uh, the uh, injustices of apartheid. Um, yeah, I, I was truly, truly shocked and uh, truly um, saddened mm. at this deep loss. You... Uh, so, Mm. I beg your pardon? Uh, I just wanted to say, you, you spent a lot of time with him, and maybe you are the best person to tell us the kind of human being he was and the values that he had. George Bezos was, is, was an amazing human being. I mean, we spent almost five years with him uh, during the Delmas Chisholm trial, even when we had already been convicted. He was literally with us, 24-7, every day, if either in court or in prison at Mona B. We had thousands and thousands, actually millions of documents we had to go through with him in preparation for the trial. He, he, he was literally like uh, jailed with us. Uh, he was like one of the prisoners. And George Bezos never tired. In fact, we, we gave him a nickname, and that nickname was given to him by Chara Lekota. He called him Mata Atro, which means <laughs> the guy had the elephant, the strength of an elephant. Um, you could see him even during cross-examination. Day after day, he would be pursuing uh, a witness until, until he tears that witness apart. Mm. He breaks the witness. So George Bezos was a dedicated lawyer, hardworking, uh, diligent when it came to his work, loyal to his client, loving. And uh, he, he, he never took chances as he did his work for, for his client. Uh, he became part of the family of all of us in jail, uh, of prisoners and the families of those prisoners themselves. Uh, he's a guy very kind to, he would bring us food in jail uh, on Saturdays as we sit there in that big garage at uh, Morabi Prison, uh, going through all the, the documents and statements that we were doing. George Bezos was a very, very modest uh, person. Um, he, he was a modest soul who did his work without fanfare. Mm. Um, and, and I think the greatest thing that we could uh, distill from our interaction with him was his honesty, his integrity, his selflessness, and loyalty to his friends, to his clients, and to the movement. Uh, I think all of those are the hallmarks that define the character of George Bezos and the monuments that I think uh, he left to all of us and to posterity. Um, so his, his passing on is indeed a great loss to, to South Africa. Um, just to reminisce a little bit on the, the Delmas Chisholm trial, uh, at one point we had a, a gentleman who came there from the University of the Free State. Mm. He came in ostensibly uh, as, as, a, as an expert on revolutionary warfare, 
he was called uh, under praise. Of course, he later became the deputy of uh, Jackie Silibi. Uh, George Bezos tore him apart. Uh, he would read to him passage from Sichaba, and he would say to him, uh, uh, you have read Revolutionary Warfare. Where does this passage come from? And he would say, no, he thought it came from the writings of uh, Regis de Bray. Regis de Bray was probably the only writer he, apart from Karl Marx, uh, Lenin, that he, he had read. Mm. And, and he, he got torn apart until he admitted <laughs> that he was not an expert. That is George Bezos. And he did similar things. One girl was brought in from Paris to say that uh, Terra Lakota had had organized them, taught them how to to go out there armed and fight to overthrow the government. Ultimately, that girl had to admit that she had been lying about everything. She had not even seen terror. Uh, she was shown the photographs of terror so that she could identify him uh, in the dark. <laughs> so, so that is George Bezos for you. Mm. He, I mean. There was no love lost between George Bezos and security police uh, in this country. He fought hard for for his client and fought hard in defense of um, uh, justice and human rights of our people. In many ways, George Bezos was really, George Bezos was part of our struggle for freedom. And if you look at it, he came in at 13 years as a teenager. Uh, he saw the birth of the apartheid system in South Africa. He saw uh, the struggle unfolding, uh, led by Nelson Mandela, of whom Conte was Caesar. And he has been part of the defense of all the major trials, terrorist, terrorism, sabotage, yeah. treason trials that took place uh, in the period 1954, to right up to 1994 when uh, South Africa became a democratic state. So he would be sorely missed. But he has demonstrated to our people that uh, to change the world, you need to be dedicated to the cause that you believe in. And you need to be selfless. You need to be committed to serving your people, and that is what George Bezos' uh, his character was. Yes. George Bezos was not corrupt, uh, and 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 he he was he was very outspoken about the wrong things that were done by those of us in the liberation movement, in as much as he did against the apartheid state. Uh, we we was we we truly have lost the great South African, and we doff our heads in the memory of this giant of the South African revolution and legal fraternity. All right, Kalebo Hantatepo Pomolefe with a touching tribute there to George Bezos.